What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Pace Studio here in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. We are broadcasting to you live from the Manhattan Center, as always, and we are joined by a very special guest right now on his own, on a stool. It's Justin from Blue October. Thank you very much for having me in this epic place. Yeah, man. This, this is, is this so is a, sweet. This is a log cabin. This is so amazing. Yeah, yeah. It was built here on the fourth f- floor, yeah. and then the rest of the building that it's in built around was it. built around it. Of course. Yeah, that's, that's, what I, that's, that's how it came in. And, that's how it's done. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's it's amazing. amazing. It's all floating. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Justin, uh, there's a new Blue October record coming out uh, yeah. June 22nd. It's called I Hope You're Happy. Yeah. And uh, it's the first record in a couple of years. Uh, we're excited to hear two songs, I think, from that record. Yeah. Yep. And yep. as well as one older one. Yep. Uh, so let's get started off with some music, man. Tell me a little bit about this first one. Um, this first one um, is um, a song I wrote for my wife. Um, and it's called King. I mean, here we go. <laughs> Follow your heart Follow your feet, your soul Follow your dreams wherever they go And never slow down And find someone to share it with And then never let them go Hold me close, closer than ever before Ooh, I, I, just love me like you won't let go With all that I know, with all that I am Ooh, I, I, just love me like you won't let go Light up the streets with gold And follow your dreams wherever they go And never slow down And find someone to share it with it. And then never let them go Hold me close, closer than ever before Like you won't let go You're all that I know You're all that I am Ooh, I, I Just love me like you won't let go And when you take away everything Just you in my arms I feel like a king Holding you close oh, I love you like I won't let go And when you strip away everything Just you and my arms I feel like a king When I'm holding you close oh, I love you like I won't let go So hold me close You're closer than ever Ooh, I, I just love me like you won't let go. You're all that I know, and with all that I am. Ooh, I, I love me like you won't let go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dude, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, so I want to ask you about uh, this new record uh, that we're looking forward to coming out in June called I Hope You're Happy. Uh, the last Blue October record that came out uh, was a couple of years ago. It was called Home. Right. And that album had, it sounded kind of homey, you right. know, like it had a really kind of like it was it was positive. It was uplifting. It sounded like you were in a really good place. Mm. And... Uh, Fast forward a couple of years, and I, there was a, a first single came out from this record, 
called I Hope You're Happy. And like immediately in my mind, I was like, that sounds, you know, like that, that phrase can be used one of two ways. There's the sarcastic, like, you know, fine, I hope you're happy. Okay. Or there's the actually like sincere, okay. I do hope that you are happy. I really hope you're happy, man. And it sounds <laughs> like it's definitely the latter. Like you're, yeah. like it's still like this is a, you're coming from a place of positivity. Is it, is it, is it sort of an extension of kind of where you were with Home with these songs? Oh, totally. Um, with Home, it was an album about the uh, gratitude and and uh, the beauty of life that I had found, you know, through so many different things, through sobriety, through through just living good, you know, um, respecting people, um, surrounding myself with positive people, working hard, the joys of life, life, finding out that life has color, Yeah. right? And that's what Home was about, being grateful for, like, the wife and the family and the friends that gave me a second chance back when I was crazy, you know? And this album is about um, me actually being in such a good place in my life that I actually can be a friend to them and just shut up and listen to them and be there for them. So um, the whole album, there's not one song about poor little Justin on this album. It's all about like my friends and the things that they're going through and that I can actually sit about it, um, take it all in, Really, really give them my whole heart and write a song for them, like King was for my wife. And um, but I hope you're happy. Just comes from a very special place where I genuinely, just truly hope that that they're happy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, and, and it's obvious when you hear the song. Like, there's no doubt. You know, like that. That this is a this is a, a sincere and authentic emotion. Right. Uh, and you know, so I wonder, like, you know, these last couple records, um, you know, because you've been making records for years. Right. Uh, I mean, going back almost 20 years at this point. 21 years. Yeah. Um, is it so, you know, like when you are writing a song, I mean, and you've been in lots of places emotionally and physically, yeah. uh, you know, does it, does it alter sort of how you create? I mean, do ideas come differently? Do they come out differently? Does, this, does it sound differently to you in your head? Um, it's, it's weirder now with the more clarity and the more healthy I treat myself, the more of a craft it is, um, the more I can educate myself on the craft, the more I want to work with other people. If you had asked me six years ago before I changed my life and turned it around, do you want to write with anybody? I'd be like, oh, no. Yeah. Justin writes his own material. <laughs> oh, God. You know what I'm saying? And this is just like I just want to learn more. I want to be, I want to be around smart people, and I want to learn from them. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm in a really good place as far as a writing and producing and and when you're working on an album, just um, I have a studio outside of my house I, in, in Wimberley, Texas. And like my studio is about this size, but it's not anything as cool as this studio. But I literally go outside at 8 a.m. every day, kiss my wife and my kids, say have a good day. And I stay in there till 5 p.m. And it's a craft. I, I work with as many people as I can. And when I hear something in my head, I can literally go in there and just put it down and work first chorus, first chorus, pre-chorus, uh, bridge out. Yeah. And it's it's such a uh, an amazing job that I have, um, and I, I'm just getting better at it the more I stay healthy. Yeah. You know? So much so much so that you know it's funny because like you know the the counter balance to that is I think this is the first Blue October record that you have produced pretty much on your own. Yeah. Yeah. That was nerve wracking. Yeah. So all of that to say, like you know, all, for all of like the the the, the collaborative aspects. That you have found, yeah. you kind of you kind of like went a little bit insular for this one on the production, right? But I still reached out to people that I'd worked with before, like Tim Palmer, um, Phil Tan, amazing mixer. And um, when I'd get mixes back, I'd be like, "Can you give me any advice on what I could have done better?" Yeah, you know, I just want to learn from these people because um, I've worked with like Steve Lillywhite, Tim Palmer, uh, Dave Costell, like Nick Lane, all these people that I've worked with Midnight Oil, The Cure, you too, and and here's little old Justin just taking notes behind him, and then this is where okay, you're you're up. Do it. Yeah. And uh, while my methods are completely different than the way they do, um, I, it, I just loved it because I could go out of the box and get the right drum sounds that I finally wanted and get the, and record the drums like a jazz kit instead of mic up, mic up, mic up, mic up, mic up. Just let's get the nice room sound. Let's get what we want and let's really s- focus around that, you know? Yeah, cool, man. And the album, I mean, the album sounds great. Um, Thank you. And the first, the first single really, like, it starts off like, you know, it's clear right from the start. Like, uh, you know, I hope you're happy. Has like, I don't know, just starts off with that great kind of like forward momentum. Thank you. Um, so we're gonna hear a couple more songs uh, yeah. from Justin Furstenfeld. Uh, one new, one old. Which, yeah. one, which one is this? Um, let's do the old one. Okay. And then I'll, uh, yeah, this one. I mean, you'll see the difference. And as a songwriter, you'll see the difference in the content of before I changed my life, and 
and became this grateful person than before. I, I love this song, but wow, how things have changed. Uh, this is called Into the Ocean. <clears throat> I'm just a normal boy that sank when I fell overboard My ship would leave the country But I'd rather swim ashore Without a life best I'd be stuck again Wish I was much more masculine Maybe then I could have learned to swim Fourteen miles away Now floating up and down I spin colliding into sound Whales beneath me diving down Sinking to the bottom of my Everything that freaks me out the lighthouse gleam has just gone out I'm cold as cold as cold can be, be. I want to swim away but don't know how Sometimes it feels like I'm falling in the ocean And let the waves up take me down And let this hurricane set in motion, yeah and let the rain of what I feel right now come down Just let the rain come down Where is the Coast Guard? I keep looking each direction For a spotlight, give me something I need something for protection Yeah, flotsam junk would do just fine The jets I'm sunk, I'm left behind Treading for my life, believe me how can I keep up this breathing? Not knowing how to think I scream aloud, begin to sink My legs and arms are broken down With envy for the solid ground And I'm reaching for the life within me How can one man stop this ending? I thought of just your face Relaxed and floated into space I wanna swim away but don't know how Sometimes it feels like I'm falling in an ocean and let the waves up take me down And let this hurricane set in motion, yeah And let the rain of what I feel right now come down Let the rain come down To the sun, I calculate what I had done, like jumping from the bow, yeah, to prove that I knew how, yeah. It's midnight's late reminder of the loss of her, the one I love. My will to quickly end it all, said front row, and my need to fall to the ocean to end it all, to the ocean to end it all, to the ocean to end it all, to the ocean to end it all. swim away but don't know how sometimes it feels like I'm falling in an ocean and let the waves up take me down and let this hurricane set in motion yeah let the rain of what I feel right now come down just let the Thanks. Yeah. See, yeah, it's, it's a little dark. Yeah. Well, so, you know, tell me, like, you know, I mean, you're obviously, you know, I mean, you mentioned before you played it, like, you're in a much different place than you were when that, when you wrote that song. So as right. a performer, how does that, sh does it change how you perform these songs, how you feel when you perform the songs, how you th think about the song as you're doing it? Well, back when I first started, like, I grew up on bands like... The Cure and The Smiths and Peter Gabriel. And I always thought that when they walked off stage, that's who they were too. Yeah, yeah. Dark and mysterious. So I always thought I had to do that. So, but I, and I always covered it up with, you know, lots of things, you know, self-medicating, stuff like that. But when I realized that, man, I'm actually a nice guy and I'm kind of funny and, you know, it's a dark sense of humor. Yeah. I have a dark one. My wife doesn't think I'm funny, but I think I'm hilarious. I think I could put on a comedy show. But... But when I walk off stage, I can be that guy. 
it, um, so when I would write songs like that, back in the day, it would be like this whole like, ah, oh, yeah. oh, and then I'd walk off stage tortured. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have to go lay down because I put so much into it. Like, really, dude? Yeah. Really? This is your job. Have fun, bro. So these days, it's like I can get up there and I can just be so much more of a performer and not necessarily worry about just bawling all over the right. audience. And so you're not really like, you know, you can you can keep a distance from the headspace yeah. that you were in when that song was born. You can tell a story. But then yeah. there's songs, you know, that I've written like about my children when I was in a dark spot that when I go there, man, it can... It'll yeah. get me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It'll get me. But any of these songs about Justin and his depression, you know, that was a time in my life that I could look out and see somebody that might be going through it, and then I could sing it to them and for them. But uh, I'm just so grateful that I, that people still like those songs, yeah. you know, because it, it, it could have just been like, people only want to see you circle a drain for so long. <laughs> and then they're like, dude, get up or shut up, you know? Yeah, well. Thank God. And you did. Um, so, you know, the other thing I wanted to ask you yeah. is, uh, you know, you made... <clears throat> um, you know, there was a. You've made a couple of solo acoustic records. One just came out uh, right. last year, um, called uh, "Open Book Winter Album." So, like, you know, this this playing like this. I mean, I ask a ton of musicians this same question, but I'm always interested about when you are building songs, when you're creating songs for yourself for Blue October. Uh, is this how they begin? Is it you and a guitar a lot of the time? But um, some of them are. Some of them they are. Um but like Into the Ocean and um, King, I, I usually carry around, I'm, a, I'm an, uh, an avid collector of old school vintage MPCs and Akai's, like the old school drum machines, yeah. where you need the disc and you need to sample off of a, a record. So I, I've just now graduated into realizing that if I want to make beats on a plane, I have to go digital with it, you know. <laughs> so I got the the MPC. Do they stop you with security with those right. things. Well, they do. They're like, "What is this with the sixteen pads on it?" I'm like, yeah, "It's right. a beat machine, dude." <laughs> so I'm I'm very much into building sounds atmospherically that's in my head, and then building beats to it, and then and then I just find uh, soundscapes and the melodies, and I work through them within. Yeah. But then there are songs that that are are straight up like you could like i hope you're happy the one i'm about to play was written on an acoustic guitar yeah just because i was in that spot in that oh melancholy you yeah. know that, that nostalgic spot where you're you might be at a beach with your wife and you have 10 minutes alone and you hear something in your head and you just pull it out on the back porch and something comes out yeah you know but uh but it's so fun to write there's no rules in writing anymore you know, yeah. There's no rules whatsoever, especially with, with phones these days. You can whisper anything, or if you hear a car horn and a certain thing and it inspires something, you can just go. And I've got an engineer back home. I can go, I want this in C major, so tune it up in three minutes and 30 seconds with a fat beat behind it on four on the floor and send it back to me so I can write lyrics when I go on my jog. Yeah, right. Done. Done. Yeah, done. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it sounds great in this format. Uh, you know, I love hearing both, you know, songs that are solo and uh, songs that, are, you know, I think we're accustomed to hearing with the full yeah. treatment kind of stripped down to this feel like they, you know, they, they work. Yeah. Um, Thank you. So uh, we got one more that we're going to do. Uh, this is uh, the first single off the new Blue October record coming out in June, yeah? Yeah, this is called I Hope You're Happy. All right. All right. <laughs> there will be days when you're falling down There will be days when you're inside out There will be days when you fall apart Someone else will break your heart They're never gonna hold you back I'm always gonna have your back So try to remember that I hope you're happy I hope you're good I hope you get what you wish for And that you're well understood Standing here looking at you I'm wondering what the hell you're gonna do With those Dr. Pepper eyes and your bubblegum hair Yeah, I'm standing right here I remember how I held you so right I remember that Saturday night, do you? <laughs> there will be days when you're falling down There will be days when you're inside out There will be days when you fall Someone else will break your heart They're never gonna hold you back I'm always gonna have your back 
So try to remember that I hope you're happy I hope you're good I hope you get what you wish for And that you're well understood And whatever your progress hey, Look, I know that you'll be fine Because I just hope you're happy Even if you're not mine Take. I remember you next to me I remember you with every breath I take You'll always have a piece of me I remember that Try to remember that I remember every word that we spoke You were right here next to me I remember how we tried and we tried I remember everything So try to remember that I hope you're happy I just hope you're happy Yeah I hope you're happy I hope you're good I hope you get what you wish for And that you're well understood and whatever your progress eh, Look, I know that you'll be fine Because I just hope you're happy Even if you're not mine Thanks so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Man, everybody Thank you. in this room is really happy. Oh, right now. I hope you are. Yeah, I know. I could tell. I could I'm tell so that you're really I mean, That's so clever. That's so clever. I can use that in any kind of way, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I totally. mean, every, every night, you know, right. when you're, you're like, like, I'm so happy. I, happy. Like, I hope you're happy with your beard because I'm happy with your beard. I appreciate that. It's yeah. glorious. I was, I was a little happier with it a couple of weeks ago. We can, How well, long we, was we can, it? We can, it, was much, it was much longer. It was a winter beard. Now it's sort of a spring beard. I don't know. How long does it take you to grow such a luscious, gorgeous beard? Well, you know, I mean, it's been on my face for like 10 years. As, mm. I mean, yours, you know, so it doesn't take 10 years, but, you right. know. When was right. the last time you actually like put a razor on your face? Never. Yeah, I'm like saying. I look like a weird kid with a puffy little. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm right. You know, what, what is it called? A, a waddle that turkeys have? Yeah, yeah. Or uh, waddle, yo, the, the, waddle? The, the, yeah. The thing that hangs. The thing that hangs. Not gonna do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Not gonna yeah. go there anymore. Yeah, exactly. Avowed non-shavers. We should start. There you a, go. We should start a club. We should. Yeah. Um, and you know, and Brad. Well, Brad is just glorious. Yeah, glorious. I know. We're all aspiring to Brad. It's perfect. This whole log cabin, and I walk in, and there's these two, like awesome dudes with beards. I'm like this, and it smells like cedar in here. Yeah. You know, like that's beard us, oil. That's us too. That's you too. That's totally yeah. That's that's. Uh, it doesn't smell like that when we're not in here. Man, we're, we're we smell like cedar. I mean, it's amazing. I yeah. mean, your intern is surrounded by beautiful men. That's well, all I gotta know, say. That's that's all I gotta yeah, say. You know. Sorry. Um, Job's hard. So uh, this, of course, uh, Justin Furstenfeld uh, from Blue October. Uh, there's a new record coming out. It's called I Hope You're Happy. Coming out June 22nd. We heard the title track yes. just then. Uh, it made us all very happy. Uh, cool. There is a show tonight here in the city at City Vineyard. Uh, more shows to come. You can find all those dates uh, at uh, blueoctober.com, as That's well right. as all kinds of music. And uh, I think there's a lyric video for the first single. There's a there's a full video. A full, full video. video. Yeah. Full video uh, with like some ad, uh, I you know I saw the video. I, I'm remembering animation, but it's not animation. It's no, just, it's uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's it's a funny story because I had to kiss this girl in it, and I told my wife, "Babe, we need to talk," before <laughs> I left for LA. And I said, "There's a scene where I where I kiss this girl. She's a model, and I might have to kiss her for an extended period of time." And my wife said, "And your problem is?" And I was like, "Well, I just." 
don't want you to be hurt. Yeah, you full know? disclosure. Yeah, right? just That's letting all. you know that I might have to go all in, you know? Yeah, right. And she's like, it's your job. Go act. Like, what are you doing this? And I say, why can't you be jealous? <laughs> just once. You know, yeah. she just doesn't get jealous. All right, she's well. super hot, though. So my, my wife, yeah, not the right. model. The model wasn't, you know, whatever. Average. My wife is totally hot. Yeah, right. She should have been in the video, man. <sighs> Sorry, I got out of that one good, right? Yeah, right, yeah, totally. Well, uh, we'll cut it off now. Uh, so, uh, dude, thank you so much for coming, uh, coming to you. Pace, uh, playing in the cabin for us. Uh, congrats on the new record. We're looking forward to it. And uh, come back and, and play for us again anytime, all right? Thank you. I might come by here and record some vocals. Just got to get your day rate. So we'll figure that out later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll Rock and roll. Thank you. All right. <laughs>